Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So now what we've got here in my hand is this assembly machine and I couldn't connect it up at the end of the last episode. And between times I've tried all the different cables. So you've got tin, copper, gold and iron. And none of them connect to it. Which is a bit strange because it's basically an Industrial Craft 2 machine or Tech Reborn. And the work is pretty mm, sparse. I think it could have a lot more information in it. So I was playing around and I have found out what we have to do. So let's get on and do that first of all. So basically what we need to do is to make a I've got bat box and the transformer here, but I don't really want that one. What I do want is a generator. So what we have for generators is from Tech Reborn basically is We've got a geothermal generator from Industrial Craft. Let's make this one. Now this one, I love it when it moves around. You click it and you get the recipe up and then you move, it moves around. So basically it needs a generator, some empty cells, some glass and some iron item casings. Not really a big deal. The, item, the iron furnace we need first of all. So let's see if we can make an iron furnace. Right, we need a furnace. Oops, can't type. My goodness. And I made one. For some reason or other, and I don't get it, it's not working properly. Let's put that in there. So then we need to come back again and look for that heat generator. Where has it gone to here? So now we can make this generator poten potentially. So we need to make a battery first of all. So the battery is this recipe. And I don't know whether I've got everything we need for that. Our redstone. Well, I have got everything. I made some cables, I think, tin cables. So look what we got for cables in here. Oh yeah, I made some tin cables and I made some gold cables and copper cables to test it all out with. Let's look for redstone. So we just need two of those. And that, we can make some batteries. I'll make four. Because you always need these batteries when you're doing any industrial craft stuff. So that's a good thing to have. The next thing we can then make we're anyway, using two for this. I don't know if we've got any tin iron casings. Let's just have a look. No. I think I think I missed out a step there actually this one. Yeah we can make a generator. Fantastic. And then we should be able to get on and try to make this one. So we have got that was glass and batteries. That is I think that's what he was. It didn't look that hard to be honest with you. No, what is the recipe for this? Ah. No, we've made the generator already, haven't we? Oh, there are empty cells. That's what he is, not batteries. Well, some, I don't get why these vanilla things are not getting put in here anyway. Let's put those back. Empty cells, so basically empty cells are extruded tin plates. So let's see if we've got some tin plates in here. We've got, yes, we've got plenty. So I'll just get a couple of these out. In fact, we'll make about four. I think I'll make 32. Split it in half, make 16. So let's go around here and extrude these. Got actually these. Uh, cells are quite useful anyway so that's extruding good that's the right setting and we get the item casings like that we actually get three per so that's almost 45 so that's quite a few what are the canisters let's look for tin again ha huh. Now, where do we want this thing? So, if we generator, I want the generator here. Empty cells, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. There we've got 48 of those from our 16, that makes sense. So, we actually end up with a geothermal generator. And that might be enough to power it up, but it only gives 20 EU per tick max. And this thing requires 128 EU. EU so that's probably not strong enough so let's see if we can actually improve on this one so let's have a look for the uses of this one so indeed we can so basically some iron bars and some iron plates around that will give us a heat generator 
from Tech Reborn. So that's if that we can make that. So iron bars we're short of. I'll take that out and clear this off. We don't have any iron bars, but we can soon make some iron bars. Let's make a stack of those because they're always handy actually to have iron bars. So let's try that again. So the uses of that are this one, and we can make a heat generator. Now this heat generator is now producing 64 EU per tick. So let's see if there's something else that we can also use for this. Let's look, we've got other uses for this one. And sure enough, it has. So here we've got a heat generator, and this is going to produce a thermal generator. And the max output is 120 EU per tick, which is good. I think this is great. So aluminium plates we should have already, but the reinforced glass we've not got. So that's basically glass and some advanced alloy. Advanced alloy is this one, mixed ingots. So I think we've got enough of these plates. Right, we've got 64, fantastic. And I know from looking at other recipes, these are advanced alloy um, plates are needed in almost everywhere. So let's just put, we only need two, but let's put those in there and they should come out in here. So when we've got two, absolutely coming in here. Oh, there's one. We'll go and let the others process and we'll take these with us. There we go. So, and there was plenty of glass in there. Let's take a stack of glass while we're here. So now, so the uses of that one was well, basically this one. We should be able to click it in. <laughs> what is wrong with this? Yep. And we get seven reinforced glass for just one of those. That's not too bad. And we actually got a lens when we took the rest of it away. So to try again now. We should be able to just make this because we've got circuits. Aluminium plates we should already have as well. And sure enough. So we now have a thermal generator. So the only other thing I can think of that we could, the cable I haven't tried was the glass fibre one. Let's see if I can find that in here. Probably glass might not be the best choice to search for. With six pages of it, it's this one here. So basically, that's six of those silver dust. We might be able to even do some of the energy. Enderium dust. Okay, so we need some diamond. Now, diamond is macerated, pulverized. Okay, or we can make it with three carbon nanotubes. I think we won't use. Three carbon and I'll take the diamonds we've got and we'll just put them through the pulverizer. So what do we need for? So let's take four diamonds and that will give us I'll make I'll make sure we get eight diamonds actually. Just to make sure that we've got we've got hundred here. And we'll go and pulverize these. And there's no spare rewards on this, so I'll just stick them straight through in here like that. I mean, there's no secondary items that we get from here, so let's put those into this like this. And that's putting everything back again, and I didn't really want it to do that, I might take those out of that. So now we've got those diamond dusts. I know the um, this glass cable from uh, industrial craft is possibly the best cable there is in industrial craft so 8192 EU per tick so so we need this one. Oh, it makes nine and redstone it's so weird I don't know whether it's me or it's just I'll take those we'll put the other diamonds crushed diamond back in here like that and then we should be able to make some of these <laughs> glass and we make one of those fine quite expensive but one would be enough to test this with so let's go downstairs now and test this out ah let's go back upstairs and get some more bits and pieces we need to fill fuel this thing with lava 
doesn't tell me yet, but I know we do. I know we do. So we'll fuel this with lava. So we'll basically need a transfer node and a transfer pipe. I'll take a couple of transfer pipes. I think will be enough. So we have lava being produced here. So I think this is probably a good place to put it as anywhere else. So let's put the transfer node on here, the fluid transfer node. And as you can see, that's now got lava in it. So let's put a transfer pipe down here, like that. And then we can put onto that the generator, wherever it's gone to. Here it is. I'm only going to use one pipe, like that. Now that should start to get lava in it, it is fantastic. And so it's already producing power. And we can actually test that, I think. If I put can I put that in there? No, it's like just for fuel. Okay, that's why I was looking at bat boxes, but to be honest with you. Now this is a, I think it's a medium voltage device. So we'd actually need to transform that down if we're going to do it the proper way. But and then in the meantime, let's just see whether or not I can connect this glass fiber to this. No, it doesn't connect, look. That's a shame, Never mind. Who is it? Try, but we can use that later on. So let's put down now the assembly machine here. And now this has got power. So we needed what 32 iron and eight lead would make. That's already used up that power. Wow. Well, should start to make for it as a, a drum, if I remember rightly. Looking at the recipes for this. That's the one we're actually producing from previous time. And I guess, ah, oh, there we go, some progress now. I was wondering if they would see some progress. That's going to take a few seconds to do. Right. So that's not got any power in it. So while that's doing that, let's go and make a transformer. And also make a bat box, because I'd like to charge up this tool that I've got with me. So they're not too expensive to make, I don't think. So I get rid of the glass recipe here now and transformer so we need a this one here so that's a high volt it's a low voltage transformer so it needs 32 eu is the output from 128 eu per tick so what do we need for that we need one cup of co gear like, uh, coil like this which i might actually have made because i was making some well actually i'm not sure let's just oh yeah we've got one so we can make that straight away Straightforward recipes, this insulated tin's the same thing as well. Okay, and then we want to make a bat box, a straightforward bat box. So that's three batteries, one tin cable and some planks. That's fairly straightforward too, and I've got enough stuff for that as well. Fantastic. Now, if I remember rightly, this transformer's got a side where things have to be connected to. Now I've got some gold cable here, and that may or may not connect to this. I think it should do. Let me just put the bat box, the, the transformer down here first of all. And as you can see, I think this is the high voltage side of it, because it's gold, and all the out other faces are are um, white, which presumably represents tin. So can I, if I take the wrench here, if I right click it. Right click, it doesn't work. Redstone step up. Okay. Now I think we have to take this thing and pick it up again. Oh. Yeah, that turned it round. Yeah, that's turning it around to the way I want it. So can I actually pick this up? Yes, I can, without breaking it. Fantastic. So let's put this down on here like that. And then we need to turn it round. Huh didn't turn around that time it just lifted it maybe you have to use shift right click on that one to turn it around <laughs> try again um oh yes i know what's happened where did that oh it's gone here i don't want this one here as well you've got to do it in a strange order so basically i put it down like that get the wrench out and where's the face i think 
Oh, it might be underneath. Let's have a look. If we put the back box down here, like this, and that might have a face as well. And it looks like it's this face. If I shift right click this face, it's turned it around. And it looks like that's the way it goes. So anyway, we can find out easily. Let's, let's just right click this. It's got no power in it at the moment. So let's just look underneath here if I can see it. It might be a bit of a problem actually, because it's having dug everything up from below. Ha. Huh. I really can't see, can I? Let me go down two blocks here. Maybe that'll work. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, it is, in fact, the wrong way around. So let's get out of here. How am I going to do that? Let's use... Oh, I'll use a cobblestone here. We've got plenty of cobblestone. Huh. Right, good. So I think I have to stick this... <laughs> gosh, hard. Right, oops. Gosh, got it. Let me break that away because I don't want that really there. So now, if I'm not mistaken, I have to basically hit it from the side that I want it to be and I didn't do it. This is always one of these things. So let's just remove that and then right click that. That's facing me and picking it up faces that way. Oh. Try that again. So that's facing me. And right clicking it, okay, it picks it up. Try again. So really what I want to do is I want to do this from the other side. So let's put these these back down again here. Okay. I'll try to try again. So this time I can trouble is I can't do it because the cables aren't going to connect up. Maybe I can do it from here. So where I want it is basically that, like that. And now, let's have a look at this thing. And do the same with the bat box, because you get the black line here. And that looks like it's all joining up. So we can right click it. It's got no power in it. So what do we want to do? We want to fixed step down I think so the input's that and the output's that that would work now is that working here redstone behavior nothing okay that's just to emit stuff ah, this is a nuisance I can think of doing this in a different way I hope that's facing the right direction. So what we could now do, of course, is put some cables down. I don't think these will work, but there's no harm in trying. Oh, maybe they do. I've still got no power in here, so it's still not working as I want it to. That's a bit of a nuisance. Let's have a look at this thing. Oh, well, we've got a drum. I'll figure that out for next time. But basically what I want to do is I want to put this tool into it wherever it's gone to and hopefully it will charge up that's the intention anyway but I've got to connect it up and it, for some reason I can't get these cables to connect to it well that one's working fine but nothing's really connecting to this is it actually honestly I haven't tried this let's just try this shift it no it's not connecting I couldn't get any cables to connect to that So now we've got our drum. So let's go and have a look at our quest because this is part of a quest. So we start the line where well, we're stuck on until we can do the rocket. That's going to be, take a long time. Elements. I want to do this one next. And mother of all holes. We can do a steel hole as well. We can start doing these. Crystallize, there's nothing there yet. Take flight, this one. So what we have to make is a fuel drum. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Let me get a draconian block as a reward. So the fuel drum is basically this. So if I take this now here and remove this tank. If I'm not mistaken, what's this one? An import bus. I'll remove the fuel from there, of course. Let's put the import bus now. Let's put the drum down here. 
I'm not sure whether I have to, it'll connect. So let's just try this like that. So this we need some fuel fuel in here. Well, is it? No, it can't have all been converted, surely not. Oh, maybe it has. That is molten nickel fuel. I've got 251 buckets of fuel. Okay, that's no big deal. There is actually something else I've seen that's actually quite an interesting thing. So let's, make, let's craft this as well. The thing I've seen that's interesting is from... We've done the back box on the transform. We can get rid of those. So if we look for at um, Tech Reborn, I noticed they have a little device down here. Where if I can see it, that is. And it looks like a little diamond. Where has it gone to? I can't remember its name. In fact, I know how I found it. I didn't find it. So I was looking for Nano because I was looking for a Nano Saber. And basically, it's this thing. Oh, extra cells to a fluid pattern. So that's two quartz glass and one bucket. I can make one of these. Now, what you can do with this is you can come along here. And you'll notice that this says here 251 buckets. I can put this in here. Oh, I can select it first of all. Put it in here like that. And then it gets this fuel in it. Now, we actually do need some more oil as well. So the way we get oil is by can't remember to be honest with you. I think it wasn't sieving. I think it's um, Magna Crucible of Moon Dirt. Just have a look. We've got no shortage of moon rock, no shortage of moon turf, no shortage of moon dirt as it happens. So the uses of this, just click on the box here like that, so it takes it off there. If I remember, if we just put this through the Magna Crucible, we do, we get oil. So that's what I've got to do again. Let's go and get the... Oh, I need some moon dirt. I probably do need one, actually, don't I? Let's just click this. Dirt. In fact, let's take a... Oh, let's take a half a stack of dirt. Now, if I basically then come over here... Is that still working? Ah, finished. If I come here now, basically this is the import bus. Have we got an export bus on this thing? How am I going to get stuff into here? I think I basically put it into here as a straightforward standard export bus, right? Export fuel and import. Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's do that then. So I have got. Oh, that was weird. I have got an import. No, I've got nothing with me. I should have. We quickly go and get one of those. I think they're in my A2 chest here. So I want an import and export bus. I've got one left. I'll have to make some more. So we put the export bus here like that. Put into that moon dirt. Okay. So that then should be getting moon dirt in. We just have to configure it. So that wants to be the import. And there it is. We've got speed upgrades on this. Yes, we have. Fantastic. But this hasn't got any speed upgrades. So let's put a... Sp oh, I've got my thing. Yes, that's good. Speed upgrade. One speed upgrade will do. And then that'll be going a lot faster. It's already full. So that'll be making our... Um, oil for us. So we can come over here now. And actually pick up, when I'm thinking about it, another export bus. I need a fluid export bus here now. For the um, for the oil, so that's going out there, and that's getting what exported. Yes, that's correct. Now I don't know whether that's going to fill this up. I've got a feeling it's not going to fill it up. Doesn't tell me how much fuel we've got in there. How much fuel? Nothing, nothing in here either. So what I'm going to do is then move this drum, and I presume I can move the drum with this thing here. Let's just remove this. 
and yes, let's ha let's knock this away. I wonder if I can use the tool to do that. Oh, I can. Good. Interesting. So let's put the drum down here at the end, like that. So what we can do on here is we can put an export bus. And what we want to export is fuel. So let's do that first of all because we've got a lot of fuel already in the system. So we can put this one in here. Shift click it puts it in so that'll now be filling it with fuel fantastic also if I've got one and I'm not sure that I have not actually for I've actually got any to be honest with you a fluid duct let's make a fluid duct so that's also from um, Ender IO it's actually conduit isn't it the one we want is any of these. A fluid conduit will do fine. So we just got clear, quite clear glass, which is just chiselled glass. Really? Okay. And binder. So let's have I got a chisel. I have got a chisel actually. I made one earlier on. Here we are. An obsidian chisel. Very cheap, very cheerful. Well, let's get some glass out of here. We only need three pieces make eight we're only going to use one to start with anyway let's right click this and put the glass into there so we want some quite clear glass which is this one all right I've got my three pieces so that should now be possible to make oops I can't use that to click it that should now be possible to make the fluid duct eight fluid ducts very good there are other ones which are faster but I'm not sure how fast we need in this one this is few cork glass which we could also possibly make maybe not and the last one will be um where's it gone to this one is fuse quartz oh in the assembly table eight blocks of quartz that's a bit expensive anyway for now let's just put this onto here like this move that out of the way and tell it that we don't want it going up do we so let's just move this off the top that one yeah so we want that to go that way and I think then we right click that and always active so now it's filling up in here so we shall nearly got to our 256 buckets fantastic but I think that's actually now emptied out the whole of the system. Oops, sorry. Let's go and check. Yeah, I saw it flashing here. It's flashing something. Oh, it's flashing oil. Ah, oh, so we're actually not getting oil. It is. <laughs> it's using the oil faster, so that's fine. So all the fuel's gone. It's all going in this drum. So that's going to be completed. I reckon fairly soon. But probably by the next episode. So, next thing we're going to look at while we're here is how to do a steel hull. Let's look for hull, it'll probably be easier. So, we need 32 event circuits, 32 blocks of dash, carbon plates. Advanced alloy. Well, it's good. I've been making that. We've already got this. How we can? Let's start with advanced circuits. See if we can make 32 of those to start with. Um, now that's craftable. I've got one in here. So let's make. Tell it to make 31. So I'm missing some copper insulated cable, and I'm missing some lithium blocks. Okay, so now I've automated or partly automated the copper cable. And I actually did a lot some work on the alloy smelter here. I basically figured out how you can actually export multiple fluids into here and it'll actually fill them fill up the different slots. So that's nice. But what we need is is uh, how many do we need? Quite a few copper cables. Now I've got a lot of rubber, so let's get on with the rubber. We need, let's just double check that again. We need 31 of these. 
So we need 62. This will probably be fine, and the rest of it we've actually already got available. Fantastic. So let's make 62 of those. That's basically rubber. So it's one stack of rubber. Okay. Put two back. In fact, well, no, I'll take those. I'll take two out of here. I'll make a couple of extra ones just in case. We're bound to need them anyway. And copper cables. 12. Not enough. So we need some copper ingots. We need basically 21. And I'm going to have to automate the production of these cables and things. So we're going to have to make some more metal formers. Now that I'll do off camera because we've already made one of these. They're not different, desperately difficult to do. Let's put it in there. So we're getting three per, so we'll have in a few seconds lots of those. It must be night time because I can hear mobs. While that's doing that, let's just have a quick snooze. I'll let it come back to morning. Right. So now we can make the copper cables. Let's look for the copper. We've got 66. Oh, right, fine. That'll do fine. So what we do with this now? We simply put this into here, the rubber, and that's going to get smelted, and it's going to come in through here because this has still got the rubber filter on it, and into here. So we just have to put the cables into here now, and that will make 64 cables as quickly as however it makes them so we'll come back in a few seconds and that should be completed so what else we need to make some lithium blocks didn't we so aluminum blocks i did that before have we got aluminum in here yes i have good in fact what i'll do is click shift click it gives me 61 put that back again I've got a feeling we're going to need a lot of these so let's now see what do we need it's this one isn't it so it was 31 circuits that was right can't type today 31 I can't type any day to be honest with 31 so that's everything we've got except for the missing thing there my printer's just kicked into do some calibration very annoying and we've got 52 we need a few more it's actually fin fin nearly finished oh, let's finish that one at last right we've got 64 that's great so now we can tell it to do that and it's going to make the circuits first of all so let's push those into there and then make our 31 circuits start that now we've got to come over here and we've got to tell this thing oh it's already kicked off what's it doing oh that's bad transfer is what i need to do with both of those and that one and it's used up all my ah oh, this is the problem with this system if you've got one of those clicked on when it starts and i only just started the game so i expect them to be cleared but they're not so i needed some more it won't make all the stuff we're making let's just i can't cancel it so what did it actually make us we transfer nodes in here 17. So I need 17 blocks of iron and 17 blocks of redstone. Let's, let's look at that then. Let's craft 17 of those. Oh, it can't. Oh, yes, it can. That's good. And iron. So I'll take half a stack of that, put it into, put one on, that'll do that. So the redstone is over here. We've got those. And that should be the right number. Twenty-eight. 
27 of each. What's happening here? Circuits going, circuits coming in here. Oh yes, they are fantastic. So that's going to keep ticking around. Good. So that means that's in progress. And let's just quickly go and check the oil drum because I've run out of time. I can see by the clock it's 35 minutes. And we've reached this goal. So let's collect this drum now. And let's claim that quest. Because it's been a while since I've done a quest. Well, I think it has. Detect. Claim. Done. So now it opens up all these other quests. So we can actually start to make a gas turbine controller. Done. A fuel intake mixer. And we're getting quite a chemical bucket. Interesting. Another lady chest. That's not exactly ex or inspiring. And a fuel tank. So, and that gives another draconian block. Now, if I remember rightly, there's actually a, there's actually a quest for that as well. Let's have a look. I think it's improvements. Detect, submit. What do we get? 10 XP and one in draconian information tablet. Claim. Done. So this whole quest line now is complete. Fantastic. So, I'll come round here. On that note, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And we're making progress. I've, it's been quite a while, actually. And I'm quite pleased with the progress we're making now. It was There was a struggle. I suppose there's a struggle before you get to Mars. And then after that, this bit sort of opened up and become good fun to play again. So until next time, I'll say bye for now.